In this video, we're showcasing the Airgull Emperor 36 foot camper trailer. So come along as I show you some of the features. So here we are. The tow truck is a dually buckle rodeo and it has the uh, four rear axle or four tires on the rear axle and a gooseneck connector for the Airgull Emperor. This is a good tow vehicle because the uh, it's the rear axle is weighted for a better capacity than the regular rodeo, which is not a dually. So if we take a look, the trailer, it is fairly substantial. It has three axles on its own. Uh, the Emperor obviously is a uh, homage or based on the Emperor Penguin and the whole uh, lineup of the Airgull trailers are based on types of penguins so that's a fun fact you'll take a look so if we open up the stairs and open up the door make our way inside first thing you'll notice is everything is still squeezed together so there's actually two bump outs in this uh, trailer so to operate them you have to unlock the two of them and then press extend and it pushes it out and then press extend and it pushes it out and then you lock it back in place in that fixed position so now the trailer is fully optimized and uh, the bump outs are working in order here as you can see so the first area we have here once we walk through the door a little dining area with four seats and a chandelier above next we have a nice uh, marble island slab with two seats and a full kitchen here with uh, the burners and all that good stuff and then after that we have a fireplace with a tv and of course the emperor trail emperor uh, penguin on the wall so we can turn on the uh the uh, fireplace here and what's nice is there's even a glow so if it's nighttime and you turn off the lights in here, you can sit by the glow of the fireplace. So if you're somewhere out camping like this in a beautiful location, you can actually have that fireplace operational. And then moving on with the rest of the tour, there's obviously a little sofa chair here in this. Now in the very back, there is a bunk, a dual bunk bed. There's a little step here, a dual bunk bed with its own door so the kids can come in and play on their own accord and there is the uh, thermal arctic clothing in both bunks if we make our way to the front of the trailer there's a little step here there's some life-saving equipment this is a fake door to a washroom and here's the uh, primary or master suite so you walk in here, you can shut the door, get some privacy, and it has its own lights, as well as uh, bedside lights. And what's nice is you could lock the door and there's a fireplace. So same thing, this fireplace has a nice glow and you can sit and sit out, watch the, watch out through the moon roof here. So if we unlock this door, turn all this stuff off, and go to the exterior, I'll show you some of the cool features there. So the exterior, we have this the breakers and generator. So to, to operate the generator, you have to put generator power and hand crank. And it's just going to take over now. So this can be used to charge up the battery. And to turn it off, you just hit off the power. There is a starter if you don't want to hand crank. Now here you can deploy the legs and automatically there's little uh, friction pads and brakes on the wheels. So once this happens, then the trailer will not be easy to move anywhere. So it's actually gonna resist a lot of wind. Back here we have a storage. You can actually get into it, which is interesting or no, I thought you could. Oh, previously you could, Never mind. You can't get into it, but you can access a bunch of different stuff. On this side, Obviously, it's a little darker. We have our hunting equipment. There's some rifles and ammo. So that's over here. And there's also a ladder 
to make it to the roof and you do have solar panels on the roof as well as uh, three sort of vents so that's the overall gist of it now if we retract our uh, sliders inside and lock them back in place let's take this for a spin so I'll show you how it handles on the road So obviously it is kind of heavy, a good tow truck is recommended, but here we are, I mean this truck even we're going 100 kilometers and it's not really stressing it, and obviously that's even without the uh, added mode. So the trailer is fairly nifty. Seats for sleeps for sorry, and is quite luxurious and comfortable. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I hope um, you stay tuned for more.